So, heading out of town? Whether it's a well-deserved vacation or a business trip, don't let the hustle and bustle of travel plans keep you from protecting your home while you're away. First and foremost, cover your peephole, people! This is easily one of the number one things travelers forget about when leaving their house. But have you heard about all those cases of criminals and weirdos spying on people and even filming them through the peepholes of their hotel room? Yes, it happens, and it's not just limited to hotels. While peepholes are great because they let you see who's outside your front door, it also works the other way around. That is, potential intruders can also find ways to look in. You see, peepholes are all too easy to mess around with, and anyone with bad intentions can install a tiny camera inside one or rig it so that they can see what's going on behind the door. So, just put a piece of tape over the peephole of your front door to beef up your security. But covering the peephole isn't the only thing that slips homeowners' minds when they're heading out of town for a while. Here are some other security tips you'll want to remember. Counting down from number 12, don't let your mail pile up. A mailbox that's flooded with letters and a pile of packages on the front step are clear signs for burglars that there's no one home to pick them up. That's why it's a good idea to ask your neighbors or someone else you trust to grab them for you. If you don't want to bother people, then just stop your mail delivery before going out of town. All you must do is contact the post office and ask them to hold your mail for however long you'll be gone. They can do it for up to 30 days. As for packages, if you know you're going to be away, just don't order anything that's scheduled to arrive while you're gone. Number 11. Keep up on usual home maintenance. Do you normally have gardeners keep your lawn neat and tidy? Perhaps the pool guy comes every week to clean your pool. Then it's best to keep these schedules even when you're away. An unkempt yard or a dirty pool can also make your home an obvious target for thieves in your area. So don't let them notice that something's off. And don't forget about a snowy driveway during the winter. Have someone shovel it while you're gone too. See? It's all in the details. Number 10. Don't overshare on social media. If you're going on a long-awaited trip, then you're probably so excited that you want to tell any and everyone about how awesome your vacation is going. But think about it. Posting pictures online from places you're visiting is just letting everybody know that your house is empty. Bad guys may stalk your social media and find that out too. It's better to curb your enthusiasm a bit and share photos from your vacations or memorable nights out when you're already back home. And if you still can't help but post off to the airport, going to be the greatest two weeks of my life, then at least check your profile's privacy settings to make sure that only your friends can see your posts. Number 9. Don't hide your spare keys. When you imagine a break-in, that's probably exactly what you picture, a burglar literally breaking through a window. But most of them just want to get in and out quickly and quietly. So people who hide their spare keys somewhere on the front porch, yeah, they do exist outside of movies, only make this task that much easier for criminals. It doesn't matter if you've figured out the most discreet place to hide your key. Trust me, burglars know all the spots. Just give the spare to a trusted friend who can check your property in case of emergency or simply leave it in the house. Number 8. Leave your curtains the way they usually are. To close or not to close, that is the question. Well, it's a debatable one when it comes to your curtains while you're away. On one hand, keeping them closed means no one can peek into your windows. On the flip side, 
They make the house look abandoned and prevent neighbors, friends, or police from keeping an eye on your home. Well, if you're a super private person and your curtains and blinds are usually shut anyway, then just leave them that way. The same goes the other way around. If you keep them open, then do just that when you're gone. Burglars do stake a house out before they break in, so any changes may give them a hint that no one's around. Number 7. Move all your valuables Can you imagine how dumbfounded a thief would be if they realized there was nothing to steal inside after breaking in? Yeah, leave them baffled. Of course, I don't mean that you must stash all your belongings elsewhere before leaving. Criminals are usually after money, expensive jewelry, and pricey gadgets like laptops and tablets. You can either leave all your precious stuff with a friend or consider renting a safety deposit box at the bank. This will ensure your valuables remain safe even if your home is broken into. Number 6. Set timers on your electronics A dark house at night for more than a few days is a dead giveaway that the owner is gone. But leaving the lights on for the entire time obviously means you'll be hit with a jaw-dropping electric bill, right? That's exactly why they made timers that turn the lights and other electronics on and off at certain times of the day. People usually use these timers for lamps, but TVs or radios can also be plugged into them, which really helps create the illusion that someone's home. Make sure to set up timers for random intervals. Lights that turn on and off at the exact same time will look suspicious for bad guys who might be scoping your house out. Plus, some timer models can be paired with your smartphone, so that you can decide when to turn the lights or TV on even while you're relaxing on the beach miles away. Number 5. Secure your sliding glass doors You can probably imagine how sliding glass doors can be an easy entry point for burglars. They usually go out to the backyard, where thieves will be safe from your neighbor's vigilant watch. Luckily, there are ways to secure them. For example, you can buy metal bars that brace against the door to lock it in place. You can also put a peg or a piece of wood in the track to keep the door from sliding open, even if the lock's been picked. The only downside is that these blockers don't prevent a burglar from just breaking the glass. But again, they usually don't want to do that because it draws attention to themselves. Number 4. Ask your neighbors to create a lived-in look If you're on good terms with your neighbors, ask one of them to park their car in your driveway while you're gone. And if you're not, then you might want to try and get on their good side because neighbors can really come in handy for when you're away. Another tip for keeping up the appearance is to ask your friend or neighbor to, say, put a coffee mug on your porch table to make it look like someone had their morning joe there. Also, for trash days, have your neighbor take your bins down and bring them back to your house, even if they're empty. It's all about the illusion, remember? Oh, and don't forget to return the favor to a neighbor in need. Number 3. Lock your garage door and disconnect the automatic opener You'd think burglars wouldn't be interested in a bunch of dusty tools and bikes, but you'd be surprised how much they can sell that lawnmower for. Plus, I mean, if your friend took you to the airport and your car's just sitting there waiting to be stolen, then don't be surprised if a burglar hacks the automatic locking system and helps themselves to your belongings. If you're going to be away for a while and won't be needing the automatic garage door opener anyway, then disconnect it before you leave. Just don't forget to lock the door, too. Number 2. Install a security system, even if it's fake. According to a report by the University of North Carolina, 60% of convicted burglars admitted that if they noticed a house had a security system, they chose to target a different home. If you don't want to invest in the real deal, 
You can fool potential burglars by placing security company signs in your yard and setting up dummy cameras near the front and back door. Number 1. Don't give away your home address. Sometimes, a GPS system can lead thieves straight to your house. If you leave your car at the airport or in the hotel parking lot, then a criminal can break in, turn on your GPS, and find out exactly where your unattended home is. If you have a portable unit, just don't leave it in the car. If your GPS is built in, then set home for somewhere other than your address. You can even send it to your local police station. <laughs> How funny would that be? So, if you know any other home security tips, then leave them in the comments down below. And be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.